How realistic is it to make a lot of money on Etsy in 2024? I'm sure you've seen all these YouTube videos out there telling you that you'll make $10,000 a month on Etsy if you only sell these five trends or the winning product to make a lot of money for Mother's Day this spring. Or maybe you've seen videos like the one thing that you need to do in your shop today to make you $100,000, right? We've seen all these videos, but I want to be straightforward in this video and really show the three harsh truths about selling on Etsy so that you know exactly what you're walking into. Because the last thing that I want is for people to waste their time on something that is going to be fruitless. And if you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Dylan Jarris and I'm an Etsy seller of over seven years. I've made over a million dollars in profit on the platform and my entire background is actually corporate e-commerce. So I take those principles, apply them to Etsy, and that is why we see very consistent results. And now I'm teaching thousands of Etsy sellers how to do this for their shops. So today I'm bringing you three harsh truths about Etsy to be aware of. I'm going to show you how to combat these so you don't have to deal with them. But if you want more, more guidance, more help, definitely leave a comment below this video and just say game plan. And we will give you our free seven day Etsy game plan. So just comment below game plan and we will get that right to you. The number one harsh truth is that making a lot of money on Etsy is not a get rich quick scheme or passive income. If anyone tries to guarantee that you can make X amount of money in 30 days on Etsy, run the other way. Succeeding on Etsy takes a ton of action and it takes more action than ever before to earn income that eventually becomes more passive later on. So what does this look like on a practical level for your shop? What should you be doing right now? Number one, let's talk about the listing count. A lot of people say you need a thousand listings before you'll start getting sales. Absolutely not. You can start getting sales with one listing. It doesn't take a thousand listings to get seen on Etsy. But if you want to make a lot of money, like a ridiculous amount of money, you do need a lot of listings. Now I have a sliding scale for this based on what you sell, who you sell to, and what your product mix is. It could be a minimum of 200 listings or it could be a minimum of 2000 listings. If you need help figuring out the optimal number of listings for your shop, just reach out to us. And hint, hint, it's not really about the listings themselves, but about the variety of long tail keywords. The second practical thing is all about awareness and traffic. So if you just throw up a thousand listings and you're wondering why you're not getting any traffic, that is the laziest way to go about Etsy. Sitting back and waiting for customers to come is a lazy way to build a business. At this point, you've really got to be hustling. And I recommend spending 50% of your time on listings and 50% of your time on getting traffic. And it's not just getting any traffic, but it's about getting your listings in front of the right people, people who are hot leads and actually ready to buy. So we have three main methods that we do this using social media and outbound strategies that don't cost you anything. So no ads required. So practically speaking, it's about your time management, 50% on your listings and 50% on getting that traffic and awareness. If you want to be extremely successful, I also recommend having a minimum of a one year time horizon. And you've got to be willing to do all of the right things with the max reps in place for at least a year before deciding that you won't be successful on Etsy. So it doesn't mean the wrong strategies for a year, but it means only the right things at the right time for a full year. Treat this like you are getting a real life MBA. You're putting in time and energy for for a longer term payoff, not for instant gratification. What absolutely will not work for you is staying consistent with the wrong things. Because if what you're currently doing isn't really working for you, doing it for a year isn't going to change anything. I actually talk to my team about this all the time. And I'll say things like, we are not good enough yet to be consistent. And I find that telling yourself that you just need to be patient and keep doing what you're doing when you're doing the wrong things, it's actually kind of a lazy excuse just to stay within your comfort zone. And if you are selling digital products, which about half of our students students do, I do recommend shifting your mindset and your reasoning for doing it from passive income to I'm going to put in hard, hard action, just like I was selling physical products. So my students who sell over $20,000 a month of digital products, they put in just as much work as the students who sell $20,000 or more of physical products. It really takes just as much action to get the same financial results. The second harsh truth is that most people have good ideas, but most people also have terrible execution. You literally could have a million dollar idea that could make millions of dollars on Etsy, but you could have terrible execution and you will not make a dime. This is actually 
actually happened before. So I've had a couple people who I've talked to who have Etsy shops and they both tell me that they're selling the same exact thing. They tell me about their product idea, their customer idea. I think, oh, this sounds really, really profitable. And then they both send me their shops. In shop A, prime execution. Everything is on point. Shop B, total flop, total, total flop. And the results and the order count and the financial picture, completely different. Same concept, same idea, completely different execution, completely different results. I have to say that the ideas, having a winning idea does not guarantee anything on Etsy. It's really in the dirt, in the weeds, you know, where you roll your sleeves up and implement, that is where you win. Because how well the work is done, that is going to determine the outcome. And usually most people have good ideas and the execution is where they fail. I see a lot of times this happens because they are too invested in the creative process that maybe they struggle with and they are having fun, right? But they're having fun doing something that's not working for them and their current execution will not get them to their goal. And sometimes they might be better outsourcing the execution to people who would be professionals at it. You can still be a very successful Etsy shop owner and outsource some of the execution. Actually, most successful shop owners start with their own execution and then end up outsourcing it anyways. So on a practical level here, what do you need to do? If your shop is failing, then it's either the strategies or the implementation or both. So what I would recommend doing is number one, get yourself a solid proven set of strategies that are proven for the market you're in, the type of customers, the type of products that you are doing, and then apply those strategies yourself. And if you're not seeing any results, then we can deduce that it is the end user. And I would recommend outsourcing the implementation. So you can have a VA do this. VAs also come trained on Etsy. So you can easily get those VAs in place and therefore save yourself so much time and accelerate your financial results, which really, you know, there's an opportunity cost to not doing that. If you need a really good VA agency, just reach out to our coaching team. The third harsh truth is that we've got to stop relying on all these free YouTube videos to fix our businesses. I meet hundreds of Etsy sellers a month who come to us because their current strategy of following a million different YouTubers and implementing a million different tips and tricks is not working. The reason I'm not surprised is because they're taking a confetti of tips and tricks that are oftentimes in opposition and implementing them here and there and start and stopping doing things that completely contradict each other. One YouTuber, they're gonna tell you to spend a max amount on your Etsy ads every day. Another YouTuber, is gonna tell you not to do Etsy ads. And then one YouTuber will tell you to do your SEO in one way. And then another YouTuber is going to tell you to do it in the completely different way. And then one person is gonna tell you to niche down. Another person is going to tell you it's better to have a general store. And then another person tells you to not even focus on the product, but to focus on the customer instead, whatever that means. One YouTuber is gonna tell you to go to Everbee and find the trending products so that you can put them in your shop. And then another YouTuber is gonna tell you that if you're looking on Everbee, you're way too late because Etsy is one of the last places to get trends. So instead, this is what you've got to do. Pick one person to follow. Pick one set of advice to follow. If it's not me, pick someone else. Now, the thing is, I guarantee whoever is making videos about Etsy on YouTube, they're not doing it because YouTube pays them so much money. They're likely putting out tips and tricks, but there's pretty much always a paywall. And the paywall is where you get their full connected strategies. And this is usually a course or their coaching or something like that. But that's really where you get to the meat and potatoes, the full connected strategies that are going to bring you results. It's usually someone's program or their coaching. So find someone, again, it doesn't need to be me, but find someone whose advice you align with. Find someone who you respect as a business owner. Find someone who has seen the level of success that you want to see. See if they will take you under their wing because that is where you see significant, significant results when they become your mentor. Because what you really want from them is for them to put their eyes on your shop, not for you to try to figure out a confetti of strategies on YouTube by yourself. So these are a few harsh truths when it comes to Etsy. Again, if you want our seven day free game plan for your Etsy shop, definitely just comment in the comments game plan. We'll get that over to you. And then I'll see you guys in the next video. I've gone from about $1,500 to $2,000 in revenue a month to currently before the month's finished $4,200 in revenue. I only joined multi six figure um, Etsy blueprint about four weeks ago now. 